right, we are in Greens Fork, Indiana. At this rest area. It's currently 5 a.m. yesterday when I started it was in the 20s yeah but this place was mostly empty last night when I parked and it's mostly full now so I just did my pre-trip walked out there in the cold the guy looks good everything's good Go today. I go to Joplin if I make good time. This load's heavy, so I'm not making that good of time. Yeah, I'm gonna get it rolling. Or I might try to go to Big Cabin. Get all the way to Big Cabin. Oklahoma. Yeah, that would be a good goal. So, let's roll out of this rust area. Go dodge some deer. Sun's not going to come up for another hour and a half. So, got to go slow. I think this part of 70's under construction. 55 mile an hour for... 30 miles anyway, so that's good. Good for dodging deer. Yeah, so let's roll out of this rest area. Oh, yeah. Take a look, see what's going on in here. So we'll get 
fuel. Then we'll do our 30. Oh yeah. Well, the FedEx is out there doing his exercises. Can you see him? Hopefully he's not doing his 30 minute break. We'll be back. All right, we are in Big Cabin, Oklahoma. Tonto's on my left. Some new loves here. We're gonna check it out. Across the street. That's it, we're in. Let's check out the big cabin. Oh yeah. Well, good morning everybody from the Loves in Big Cabin. I went in there yesterday with my camera and recorded, but the only thing that uh, I got was the shower. So, sorry, that's all you get to see. Uh, it's a typical Loves. Typical new Loves parking lot filled up people are double parked against the curb triple parked over here but we got a sweet spot we can get right out so I hope you enjoyed the live feed last night or two nights ago I don't know when this video will go up so 
the last live feed. How's that? Yeah. Touched on home bills and trucking business. And I got sidetracked in comments and didn't go on a full rant. A couple points I wanted to make and didn't make. So my train of thought just was all over the place, right? <clears throat> but the key to the whole rant was, you know, business is business, your home's your home. Your business is an asset, your home's a liability. You gotta keep them separate. You need to know what the business needs to survive need to generate cash flow so the more you sit the less cash you generate even if it's at a loss you're still going forward and you know one of the, the key points I was making was you know if you're gonna if your home expenses you know with your truck expense and everything are a dollar forty a mile and you're not gonna do that dollar twenty mile a load are you really losing? No, your business is still successful. Your business costs, if your business costs are a dollar a mile, you're still making 20 cents a mile. You're just not generating enough to sustain life at your house. And let's face it, sometimes you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta keep rolling. You gotta roll for money you don't wanna roll for. And you can only charge what the market will bear. You think these brokers care what your house expenses are? No. Does a convenience store down the corner, does he sell a gallon of milk at $10 a gallon because his home expenses? No, he charges what the market will bear. And that was the point I was getting at. You know, we're only gonna be able to charge what the market will bear happen to get in that lane and get lucky where you know, there's not a lot of capacity and you can charge a lot because they need that load moved good good for you you're working the system right have at it and all, all the all the best wishes for my for me from all of us, right? We don't want to see anybody fail. But let's face it, it's business. Any business. You think those brokers care if you go out of business tomorrow? No. Because 10 more are signing up today. And 10 more are going out of business today. They don't care. They just want the, that load move. They still want to make a profit as well. So that was that. Let's get on with this trip. I don't know what time it is. 5.20 Central Time, 6.20 Eastern Time. This GPS still says I got about 28 hours to drive for them in California. It's more like, I would say it's more like 24 hours. You know, once we'll be rolling 75, so we'll, we'll be gaining time. I'm gonna try to make it to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, there's a pilot there at the bottom of the hills. Maybe I'll try to get the drone out, fly the drone if we get there early enough. It never fails. I pull that thing out of the out of its uh, box once every six months and you have to do updates and blah 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 it's an hour before you get to fly the thing so cool let's roll on yeah